Developing right now, another Illinois politician in trouble. State Senator Tom Cullerton indicted on charges today that he embezzled more than $250,000. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is digging into the allegations. Mr. President, Senate Bill 2629. Senator Tom Cullerton took office in 2013. Prosecutors say three months later, the Teamsters Joint Council 25 president hired Cullerton as a union organizer. Court documents say Cullerton and the president worked together to embezzle funds for Cullerton's own use. Investigators say from 2013 to 2016, he collected $188,000 in salary, bonuses, and cell phone and vehicle allowances, and about $64,000 in health and pension contributions, plus $21,678 in reimbursed medical claims from a union health and welfare fund. But prosecutors say he routinely ignored requests from supervisors to do his job duties as a union organizer. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Just last year, the Villa Park senator sponsored a law that eliminated severance packages for public employees fired for misconduct. It also limited some government severance packages. And this will start addressing the problem that has been going on throughout this state. Uh, with executives getting massive payouts as they leave office. Court documents only identify the Teamsters president who hired and helped Cullerton as individual A. John Coley held the position at that time. He entered a not guilty plea this week to federal extortion charges. Cullerton's attorney sent CBS to a statement saying in part, the action by the U.S. Department of Justice has nothing to do with Mr. Cullerton's work in the Illinois State Senate, but is the result of false claims by disgraced Teamsters boss John Coley in an apparent attempt to avoid penalties for his wrongdoing. The charges also say that in his role, Cullerton should not have even been eligible for the union's health and pension funds. He is charged with conspiracy to embezzle from a labor union, making full statements, and 39 counts of embezzlement from a labor union. In the newsroom, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.